pineapples here yeah. i have about 12 pieces of cotonou pineapple here yeah. all this pineapple for my oh, uh, this is the water i'll be using to wash all this pineapple uh first of all i'm going to harden salt in this water and if you have vinegar you can actually you know add vinegar so i'm going to put in a lot of salt to do the first washing then i do the second washing before we start you know we continue with the process I'm going to blend this and extract the juice out of this. So I'm about to do the second washing. You have to be fast at this point. Zobo. This zobo is very very thick. Um, I decided to make it very thick so, because I'll be dropping ice block uh, inside this zobo whenever I want to take it. And um, of course, the ice block is still going to dilute it. And if I make this zobo too much, there will not be enough space to um, preserve this zobo in my freezer because I usually keep this in my freezer. So this is how it is right now. I'm going to add in my other um, ingredients. So this is my juice pineapple. Let me say juice. Is it juiced? <laughs> anyway, sure. This is my pineapple juice. I use the pineapple back. Like I added the pineapple back into the zobo while I was boiling it. And um, this is the juice. I blended the remaining the pineapple itself and um, I extracted the juice I sieved it I sieved this already just the way I sieved my zobo please this is actually sieved I sieved this zobo twice and um, I use pineapple to sweeten my zobo so pineapple will sweeten my um, zobo for me I also used to add dates uh, but I don't have dates so I'm using only pineapple and that's why I have enough of pineapple juice uh, so yeah, I'm going to add this into my zobo. And one thing happens when you add pineapple juice into your zobo, it actually reduce, reduces the color of your zobo. Like it's, you can see this zobo was somehow uh, dark, very, very dark in color. But now it is, um, it is lighter. And I understand what happened actually. Um, you know, pineapple is acidic as a skincare for little now. I understand 
uh, the pH of pineapple is very very high so whenever it comes in contact with hibiscus flower it usually makes your hibiscus flower to become brighter mm. so yeah I'm gonna stir this now go go and stir some more uh -huh. no 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 uh -huh. So how I take this drink is that early in the morning when I wake up instead of taking water I take one full cup of this drink and I observe that anytime I take this drink or since I started taking that drink this way I go to toilet freely anytime i go to toilet you know my belly becomes very free just going to make you to excrete out or defecate out a lot of things and i also take this drink in between my meals i take like let me say like three cups in a day in the morning on an on an empty stomach or before i eat i take it in the afternoon i take it in the night let me say one hour before i go to bed and the next day when i go to toilet when i visit my toilet and i defecate my tummy becomes very flat and i started noticing that i started going back into shape i started having a very flat tummy just by taking this sweet drink and trust me this drink is actually a popular drink but i think it's the way everybody processes their own that differs or let me say it's the way um you take it that differs but i've been taking this constantly and it's working fine and that is just the secret that is the only thing i am taking for now probably when i stop breastfeeding i'm going to switch to something else but trust me this abiscus drink is actually doing the work